Um, good morning. One of the students asked me to explain the difference between zero order and first order elimination rate. I know this this kind of topic is a little bit confusing, but when you studied this topic by just memorizing some important terms or some important points, you will not get you will you will see it is really so simple. So zero order elimination, you need to know zero order elimination. You need to know two terms. First, there is something called constant. Okay, and the other variable will be variable. Okay, so in case of constant, you need to memorize now the amount of the drug being eliminated is constant, and you need to know also from here the elimination rate will be constant in case of zero order elimination. So now you need to a little bit understand what I mean by the amount. If you give a drug, let us say 8 mg of the drug, this drug will be eliminated every 4 hours, so after 4 hours will be 70 mg, after will be 60 mg, and after another 4 hours will be 50 mg, and the end will be 40 mg. Why I reach to 40? Because 40 is the half dose of the drug being eliminated, that means it is half-life. Another example, if I will give 100 mg of the drug after 5 hours will be 90 mg, 80 mg, 70 mg, 60 mg, and 50 mg. Why 50? Because 50 is the half of 100 mg, which is actually the T half life, which is actually I can I can explain the T-half life of the drug is the half dose of the drug being eliminated. So what is constant in these two examples? If you will see 80 minus 10 equals 70, 70 minus 10 equals 60, 60 minus 10 equals 50, that means all of these it has to be subtracted from 10, correct? The other example, 100 mg minus 10, 90, 90 minus 10, 80, 80 minus 10, 70, 70 minus 10, 60, 60 minus 10, 50. That means it is the same. Here you have to subtract from 10. The other second example, you have to subtract from 10. So the amount here, the amount here is the amount, the amount in two examples is 10, which is constant, whether the dose 80, on the dose is 100 or the dose is 1000 so what is constant here is the amount of the drug being eliminated is constant now you understand this why this is constant how about the variables 80 milligram to 40 milligram needs around one, four hours one two three four so this is four hours of the drugs to eliminate half of the dose of the drugs in case of 80 milligram, while in case of 100 milligram, one hour, two, three, four, five. So in case of 100 milligram, you need more than four hours, basically five hours for the drugs being eliminated, not totally being eliminated to reach half to reach the half life. So here in the first example, if you will give 80 the half-life of the drug will be 40, while in the other example, if you give 100, the half-life of the drug will be 5. That means the half-life of the drug's variables. So here, the half-life of the drug in case of zero order elimination rate will be variable depends on the dose of the drug. More increase, more the half-life of the drug being eliminated. Okay? So one, um, one amount is fixed, which is constant, while the other things, which is T-half-life, is variable. Finally, how can I know and how can I understand elimination rate? How can I understand elimination rate? This is also, this is also easy. Elimination rate, according here, is constant. How can I make elimination rate is constant? Okay, this is the curve that you have. This curve is unit of drag. Okay, this curve is unit of a drag or concentration or whatever. 
the other which is t axis is the time of the drag the curve in this case is linear is linear order kinetics or linear elimination rate what i mean by linear elimination rate okay let us say at this point which is the highest point is the point let us say here you have 20 units of the drag here you have 15 units of the drag okay here you have 20 units or 20 concentrations the middle is 15 the lowest part is 10 units of the drug and this is i think this is easy this is the unit of the drug here 0 10 20 10, here 0 10 15 20 according to the y-axis curve okay and every time when the time pass usually the unit decrease decrease usually you know how to read this when you give a drug you will give a drug with maximum unit which is 20 and and after half hour after one hour two hours three hours whatever the units of the drug decrease 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 till it reaches the lowest unit which is 10 units now why all of this i need you to know that if you will give the drug in the first hour the drug will be 20 units the elimination rate here will be five units per hour okay when the drug being eliminated reach to 15 units that's been decreased the elimination rate here also five units per hour okay when the drug reached to the, its lowest lowest level which is 10 units the elimination rate will be the same five units per hour that's mean from all of these you will understand elimination rate is what is constant in case of zero order kinetic constant in case of zero order kinetic another thing is that why you need to know it is constant in zero order kinetic this is a little bit biochemistry but you just need to memorize two things maybe later i can explain more in case of elimination rates elimination rate in case of zero order kinetics this the drugs will work at a level called v max that mean all the receptors are saturated that mean all the enzymes are saturated so the, the drug cannot or the elimination rate cannot change it because all the receptor saturation so we call it vmax or saturation kin kinetics saturation kinetics so when you will see a word saturation kinetics that means zero order kinetics when you will see vmax that means also zero order kinetics in case of zero order kinetics now rapid review you will have two constant issues which is or two constant things which is the amount of the drug being constant and the elimination rate being constant and we explain elimination rate 555 five, five does not change in case of dose of the drug changing the other things which is only changing is the t have life t have life is not fixed in case of zero order kinetic but it is variable okay final things you need to understand you have three examples or you have really three big examples of zero order kinetics usually it is high dose or toxic doses of what ethanol in toxic high doses what again phenytoin in toxic high doses and the final drug is salicylate so these salicylate silate, sorry these are the only drugs that are working under zero order elimination not all the drugs working under zero order elimination just high or toxic doses of ethanol phenytoin salicylate okay